Hi guys, welcome along this afternoon. This video is to do with waste traps, specifically the washing machine kind that incorporate the kitchen sink and the waste from the washing machine that sort of stabs into the side of it. Let me show you a picture of what I mean. This then is the type I'm talking about where the washing machine waste goes on there. That bit goes on to the bottom of the sink and that is the outlet taking the water away. Now, problems people have been having with them, I've been getting notes about have been that they've been blocking up here. Uh, they've also been sucking out the water from the trap because they run so fast that the trap empties at the end and then you get smells coming up into the kitchen. So, what can we sort out around about this one? So, a very rough drawing of the washing machine and the sink and the outlet goes into one of those traps I've just showed you and basically if it goes out through the wall and into like a gully outside then they're usually pretty fine um, okay the leaving place I wouldn't bother moving it but if like this one it goes up and round drops down this one actually goes through the floor and runs about <laughs> 20 feet before it reaches the soil stack and it whatever happens it just keeps blocking there so we're going to change that now what's in here at the moment is this arrangement and you might wonder what's going on here well that trap has been taken off and it's been reconnected to the main pipe that goes on down and under but the wash machine has been stabbed in here now originally there was a trap here and a pipe went up with an open end and that just dropped into the open end now that was fine until one day the pipe blocked up on this bend here and water came up the pipe and flooded the kitchen so since that day there's been now a hard fitted connection onto there and uh, it's kind of like a permanent arrangement now I'll show you it um, so there's no air gap there now so the air's got to be pulled from the sink so what happened was obviously the sink trap kept emptying so to get around that, fitted an air remittance valve trap, which helps quite a lot actually. It does stop most of it, but just now and again, you get the odd pull. So what I'm gonna do now is stab an extra air remittance valve in here near the top to help give that bit of air and help that go without gurgling and without pulling some of the main trap out. Because once this is empty, obviously you're open to smells. So let's go to the job now. Here we have it then in this cupboard as you can see the arrangement there with the trap and say is an air admittance one already it definitely needs more air going here the speed these machines spin out is so fast there's our pipe over there with the wash machine hose on it there we can get a focus on it there see if we can get it sharp no but anyway there it is first thing i'm going to do is take the trap off i've done the nut there i've done the nut at the back take it away and then we can get a clear view of what's happening there at the back and a nice little bit of gubbins hanging out there oh lovely <laughs> next part of the job is to attach the washing machine hose to the top of this T because it's as high as I'm going to need it to go next piece I'm going to do is to make up this elbow here with these two short bits of pipe by the way, if you're using these type of elbows, do remember, solvent weld. It must be solvent welded in, can't just push them in, hope for the best. Once it is in, you won't be able to move it, it's there forever. That's the other thing to remember. You get about five to ten seconds once it's pushed in, and that's it, it's gone. Here then is the air admittance valve I'm going to put on the top of this bit of bend here. I'm making it up now because it's a lot easier to do it in made up position then I've only got to do one joint this one here when I'm in the cupboard so I'll attach this on now just to show you one more thing when these go on it's that red ring on there first that's under there now followed by the rubber ring okay and as you can see it's conical shaped and the thin bit the thin edge faces the top of the pipe where the fitting is going to fit and that fitting is just going to slide on there like so and then we're going to do it up just thought i'd show you how these things go um, when they're fitted like this to show you that they they don't allow water out but they allow air in so first of all i'm going to 
suck air in, by sucking with my mouth like this. <laughs> yep, certainly works. <laughs> Always smell horrible. But I'm going to try blowing it now. <laughs> Impossible. Can't blow up there at all. So we know the thing works really well and it's going to let that air in. So let's get it fitted now, shall we? So you can see now what I'm going to do is fit that in there into that tea like so and offer it up to the pipe I'm sure I'm one handed today but Jan's not with me to do any of the filming today so all on my own got to do it one handed so I'm going to put that in there and make it up ready and then drop it on the pipe that's ready at the back there see it here we go then with it all assembled as you can see there's the pipe there it's all going to go on to and we're going to plop it on there and do it up so no need to do them up the tools, just do them with your hand fingers. It's usually plenty of these plastic things. I'm going to put the camera down there and do it up. There we have it then in position, and you can see the wash machine pipe coming round onto the top of our T. And as you go along the T there, you'll find it goes up to our air admittance valve there, then down the T and into this pipe on our right, a lot further down, about three foot down below, under the floor of the house, into this pipe, which is gonna have the trap fitted back on in a second, uh, and then 20 foot run into the drain. I'm really hopeful that uh, this will stop our pulling of this sink waste. There we are then, trap back, and all ready to test out and see if it goes. So that's it everyone, hope you enjoyed that little exercise there. Uh, we're about a week or so in since I've done that job and so far I can say no smells, no pulling on that sink waste anymore. It seems to have done the trick perfectly. Probably overkill maybe, but there we are. We've got to do anything we can to stop, make our lives a bit better, especially when it comes to horrible drain smells, nothing worse. Okay, that's it though, all my stuff, you know where to go. Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.